A lot of you out there watching this video might have heard of people that said it made more sense for me to work till age 65 or I need to work till age 65. And you might not understand the reasons maybe why that is. Watch this video as we take a deep dive into some benefits of working till age 65 for some of you out there. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Financial Beat YouTube channel. I'm Logan Sadler, again, I'm the host of the channel, so thanks for stopping by for another video and we appreciate the support. If you haven't yet, go ahead and click subscribe and uh, like the video down below. Hey, even leave a comment of some other videos you guys uh, might want us to do there in the future, because again, the whole uh, point of this channel is just to provide you guys with some value and some content that you guys want to enjoy. So let us know what you guys were uh, looking forward to next. Today's video, I wanted to talk about something that I have a lot of conversations about with uh, clients that are coming in and either interviewing our firm or even existing clients of ours, where we're trying to get that game plan together of when do I retire? When makes the most sense for me to retire? And again, this conversation might happen when you're 55 years old, uh, 50 years old, or maybe 60 years old, right? Or 65 years old. Um, but in today's video, I wanted to talk about the younger ones. So a lot of you are wondering, well, what would it really make a difference for me to go out with, let's say, at age 60 versus age 65? And that is a great question that a lot of you guys are asking because what, what is the difference, right? What does a couple years uh, make? What is two or three years between friends, they would say, right? I think one of the biggest reasons is there's a, there's a lot of compounding reasons to look at. Number one is, again, a couple more years of you making contributions to those 401ks, IRAs, pensions, stock plans, social security, right? All of those things that you are contributing more money into those types of contribution plans and those uh, pensions and social securities that is gonna give you uh, potentially a lot higher of a payout waiting a year or two years down the road. And it can make a big difference by delaying those two or three years in some cases. Now, um, for other people out there, one of the biggest reasons is longevity. The sooner you start to draw off your money, right? The sooner you start to use it, the longer it might have to last. So if you take a withdrawal starting at 60 versus 65, uh, that might be an extra five years of uh, money that you're gonna need to last and stretch out five years longer. So those are some big compounding, I would say, risks there that you need to look at when is the right time, as well as one of the biggest silent killers out there is health insurance, right? A lot of you guys out there I've met with were like, you know what, we might be able to squeeze it out of the budget and get a retirement plan going and, and live the lifestyle we want. Then the next question is always, how much is our health insurance gonna be, right? And so for some of you out there, it could be 500 a month, 800 a month, or 14, 1500 a month. I've seen some pretty crazy numbers. So those are kind of the three reasons of why people tend to work a little bit longer. And I wanted to jump into a slide here that I was working on with a client the other day in one of our planning softwares, where again, it's really independent on your situation. So make sure you're giving us a call or working with your financial advisor or whoever it is to get more accurate information for you. But this is just a client we were working with the other day we were, we were talking with them and uh, going over their situation. And let's jump over to it. So uh, on this scenario, this shows them at age 63 and uh, Beth's age 61, right? So let's go over an example here. Um, if they wanted $80,000, $85,000 per year in retirement, their success rate was about a 68%. Now, for many of you out there, you might be like, well, it's pretty close to 70. It's almost a passing score, right? Now, uh, watching this example, again, this is them working quite a bit longer, but just showing if we go till age 65. If he went, if John went to 65 and she went to 65, their probability of success jumps up to a 95%. So for a lot of you out there, would you take the C grade or the or the flying A grade there? Um, and again, it might depend on your situation. Uh, this is just factoring in some of their social securities and their own savings. And uh, there was no pensions or anything like that in this case, but just showing you the power of delaying that. Now, one of the biggest things I always like to say is, again, it depends on your situation. You wanna make sure you're running the numbers, but in this particular situation, 
it made a lot of sense for them to work those extra couple of years to be able to enjoy a much um, more enjoyable retirement with that peace of mind knowing that, hey, you know what, we've ran the numbers, the numbers look good, it looks strong, and it looks like something that's gonna be sustainable uh, as we transition to that next phase. So hopefully you're out there running your numbers. If not, you know, always let us know if you have any questions or need any help on that. And we appreciate you stopping by and joining this video. And again, make a like, comment, and uh, subscribe, and uh, we'll be back here again next week with another video.